What's going on guys? So here I have a 20k wager match. I'm playing this against this guy who's been subscribed for a long time. Uh, I was not sure how his team was going in, but we had pretty even teams. And on my team, I've made some changes. I went out and got Bradley Roby at cornerback. He's just an 81 overall card. I got rid of Marcus Peters. Uh, just because even I know I love Marcus Peters, but I had to make a change. Uh, offense is pretty much the same. Uh, Allen Robinson, Kendall Wright, and Amari Cooper with Marcus Mariota and Chris John. So I'm pretty, I feel pretty good about my offense. Oh, and I got Jordan Reed too. I pulled him in a pack opening. If you guys didn't see that ultimate freeze pack opening, go check that out. But this game, holy, this is the most exciting game I've played all year. By far, you guys are going to want to stick around to the end. So right off the bat, I'm driving the ball with Mariota. I roll out all the way to the left. This is a pretty cool play. Chris Johnson runs across, and I throw it across my body for the touchdown. If you were watching the Titans today, I'm, this is halftime. I'm recording this at halftime of the Titans-Patriots game. The Titans look god-awful right now. Like, honestly, let me know in the comments who's your guys' team. Like, how how's your team doing? Because my team sucks right now. Um, I don't know what's wrong with the Titans. Like, it's just been consistent. I was telling my uh, I was telling my dad about how at the last three years, the Titans have won their first game of the year against better opponents. And then they just, after that first game, it's like the Titans only care about week one. It's just like once week one's over, they're like, screw it. I don't have to do anything anymore. But honestly, it's been pathetic. So let me know in the comments who's your guys' team. Uh, so here, he's got the ball, and it's 7-0, and I'm I'm outplaying him right now. And I know, I feel like, if I, at this point, I feel like if I play this guy 10 times, but here, I try and throw that route. I don't know why. I was playing so conservative, and I play best when I just throw short passes, and I play conservative. But there, I get a little bit too cocky, and I think Allen Robinson can go get it, and I get picked off. So I give him really good field position with 40 seconds remaining. Luckily, on third and five, we get a huge run stuff, and he is forced to kick, oh, <laughs> to kick the field goal with 37 seconds remaining to make the score 7-3. I get the ball back, and I'm going to try and make something happen. I hit Jordan Reed, who is a stud tight end. That guy goes for about 7,000 coins, so if you need a tight end, definitely go get him. But here, once again, I just... I got cocky with Allen Robinson, and we throw another pick. Like, I don't know what... I don't know what was going on in my mind. He has a little bit of time. He tries to throw a screen, but I was not about to let a screen uh, get me. So at the end of the half, uh, he's, he gets ball back at the half. That's the worst part about this score is I know he's getting ball back at the half. I know he's going to have a game plan uh, to come back there. He makes a nice throw to Jared Cook on third down and nine. That was an incredibly clutch play. And then third down and 11, he goes deep. And I thought I had him with the SWAT down, but A.J. Green gets the touchdown to make the score 10-7. I'm getting the ball back on offense, though. And I got a pretty good scheme lately where I just throw to my running backs a lot. If you guys don't throw to your running backs a ton in this game, you're, you're, you're missing out. The running back is like such a good if you watch the Patriots I'm watching the Patriots today you should see and I'm watching the Jets yesterday how much do those guys throw their running backs it's ridiculous like you got to incorporate them it's such easy reads here Mariota rolls out and throws an absolute beauty into the end zone for Jordan Reed I was incredibly happy with that but this guy has a chance and and he has a chance to come back he's got a chance to make a play to win for 20,000 coins and I didn't think he's gonna be able to do it first play he's running the ball a lot second down in 10 He's looking, and we get a nice block shed to make it third down and 17, or third down and 18. But here, the new cornerback, Bradley Roby, he goes up and tests him, and I lose that battle. Oh, that was so unfortunate. I was so incredibly mad. And then third down and 11, he's looking around. He surveys the field, and he run, runs, runs, runs with him, and gets very, very, there's such a huge hole. I, I underestimated Tony Romo's speed. Here, he thrives, tries to throw this corner, and I thought he caught it. I thought he had that, but we get the swat down. And then on second down and 10, he throws the screen, and we're making clutch stops right now. I don't think he's going to score at this point. I think I got him. He goes into the 5 I drop everybody back. I give him all day. He rolls out and he finds the open receiver in the end zone for the touchdown. I cannot even explain how mad I was. I have five seconds remaining to take a shot downfield. And as you will see, that does not... I do not end up getting it, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully we can get 100 likes on this video. That would be awesome. I've been really working hard to get you as much content as possible. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.